I what kind of hat is this that you have on? It's called Colorblind. Yo, this new nigga new is getting line. some sponsored bags, man. Word. No. God damn yeah, it. Because he got the, the straight on camera angle so he can get the hat no, plugged this, this off. This DJ line. DJ and I'm a, and it, is a, it is a dope hat. Yeah. I, no. can't, I can't get shit. I was going to say. You don't, wear, you don't we wear dad hads. You don't wear snaps. Yeah, no, I don't wear dad hats. We're going to make a fitted. Just is there one that's not orange? Because I'm too orange already. Yeah. Yeah. Like adding more, black, more orange white. is tough. It's called colorblind. Got all colors, man. Dad hats are only cool if you're like not a dad. Chris Brown. To be his publicist I has do, to be the uh, hardest job. I do want to work with him one day. You got a lot of kind of hats on the low. We got to get into you. What? <laughs> if that's a semi-pause. You got a lot of hats. Okay. On, on, we got to really talk about this. We'll talk about it. SoundCloud office is in New York. I didn't know that until fucking E1 made me go up there one day. That's I hate E1. <laughs> I'm going to audit E1. E1, y'all got to audit coming from me soon. As soon as I can afford to audit y'all, it's coming. You know, one day on a coming podcast... I'm, we're going to have a nice personal talk. I'm going to address all my beef with Surf, Trev, and Imani. I am. Maul, Maul, if I never, if I didn't have this podcast, I could sell Maul's life to Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I could get a check from Netflix. I swear. Shit, Nick Cannon got one. When Rory is stuck in fucking Pittsburgh, mm -hmm. then academics can come and just fill in for Rory. That's they need crazy. to fight, too. I got a list of niggas that need to why, fight. Why Rory gotta fight and academics got to fight. <laughs> me and homeboy from OVO that got me on the list. I think I could beat both of y'all up at the same time. <laughs> I'm gonna try. I'm at these niggas. I'm gonna try these niggas. All right, let's Ooh, see. Me and Rory. Yep. Joe, relax. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more. I'm relax. already on a list. What rappers had the most beefs? You. It is right. Yes. Probably. By far. Yeah. By far. Nobody else's. I don't the think the most I, beef that's mattered. No. Rap beef. The most rap beef. You. I'd, I'd have to fact check that. You tried to be for Eminem too. You tried it on Slaughter Mouse. <laughs> might st might still be. <laughs> I'm just saying you tried it. Oh you tried God. it, but M, you know M know you, so he's kind of like, man, that's just Joe. M loves me, but Get Rich has more replay value to me than Notorious. Joe Budden biopic coming soon. You know all your greatest, yeah, pool greatest party. Year. You yeah. should have a DVD. I should. I wish I did. I swear to God. I wish you I should. did. You should. I'm thinking about all of that. Right. If I still rapped, I would try to sneak a verse on here. I would. Even though I can't even flow to this. <laughs> <laughs> I was just great to say, nigga, if you find a flow for this. <laughs> I can't flow to this for nothing. The story of Joe Button narrated by Maul is insane. <laughs> Let me just tell you. That, that might be the bag right there. Yeah. That's the bag. I got some shit. That's definitely past my bedtime. <laughs> uh, Joe got a bedtime. <laughs> <laughs> the type of niggas I associate with. Grown ass niggas with bedtimes. This <laughs> nigga here, man. Rory, what's your sleeping, man? <laughs> so I get the fuck out of here. I kind of just want to go home. Joe got a bedtime. Joe got a fucking bedtime. Yeah, nigga. You don't have a bedtime? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> all right, no. so all right, so what time do you go to bed? I got 12 bands to pay for some shit Ja Rule put together in the Bahamas. <laughs> oh, my God. You just should, that just fast. A wild Wait, just that fast, I remember my resentment towards Maul. What? And if I was still rapping, you had bars coming your way about some shit. A hundred white bitches ran to the front of that little white ass stage. White women. White women. Why are we just bitches? Bitches. That bitches, bitches word is so in. strong. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize he, I said it. Yeah, I say fuck a whole lot too. I gotta stop that. I want to put a festival together. I told Ian this. I gotta fire Ian. I want to. <laughs> I want to. I want to put together a festival of all the duo people. I want to do Prime. We talked about this. Oh yeah. Run yeah. the jewels. Mm. Rage in the machine. There's some more. I want to build a plane. <laughs> I don't feel like God has allotted me enough time to do everything that he, my brain, wants to do. Where is building a plane on your list? You want to build a plane. <laughs> Where does that fall? Of course I don't want to build a plane. I can't build shit. Maybe more has opened a Fordham 4040. <laughs> Maybe more opened Fordham Fordham. Fordham Fordham. <laughs> Holy shit. Fordham Fordham is funny. <laughs> Fuck <Wait>. Fordham Fordham. <laughs> oh, shit. Opening a Fordham Fordham <laughs> is funny. Joe, you have your little moments where you throw little funny shots. I'm going to let you have that one. But that's not what I said. But for the sake of laughter and jokes, we'll let it fly. So I thought of a segment 
and I'm not certain when we'll implement it. I'm not even sure if you gentlemen will want to implement this segment. But I think that if we begin to talk about certain topics on this podcast that may be taboo to women, I think that will be rather interesting. I think I can take two and a half of Migos by myself. I might take a label job one day. Do you think they don't know what they're doing? But you'd have to work with Migos if you take the Atlantic job. <laughs> no, no, I wasn't doing that. I got a few wild stories when I was uh, trying to get on, now that I think about it. But we'll save those for another time. Uh, watch out for me. I'm about to blow Glow Record as the lead single for our new mixtape coming out. You wouldn't bump it. If if it was you and Mo instead of Kanye West and Drake? Yeah. <laughs> I think you're right. <laughs> First of all, me on any record is trash. <laughs> I wonder if Paul could hire me as an executive and Slaughterhouse be on Def Jam still. Oh, my God. In that, in that Meek diss I never put out, that was a hard line. So Apollo Creed had a great intro and died. <laughs> that's oh, a, yeah, do that. That's a hard line. I want to meet the Unabomber. I'd like to know who some of the vintage... Vintage queens. Vintage jams. <laughs> where, where they ended up. <laughs> Vintage jams. <laughs> Savon is our new our, our new intern, but I don't like the word intern, so I'm going to think of a new word. I don't like the word assistant either, and he's well qualified, so I hate that word. So let's do a round of applause for him. Uh, listen, I need a list of all of the shit the government has just fucking made up to kill people. Uh, what Anthrax. Hold on. Dude. That's your first task? <laughs> That's a sick ass first task. That's a sick ass first day of the job. I mean, how, how will you write this on your resume? No, what I'm saying is, I, I'm gonna get the list. I'm gonna, you know what? Every other Tuesday, I'm gonna try keeping it not a buck. You keep it fifty cent. <laughs> you, you wait. You can't be the rape expert. No, nigga. All right, so let's just throw it to Maul then. No, <laughs> don't throw it to me. Don't throw it to me. <laughs> Our right. senior rape analyst. <laughs> Our senior rape analyst. <laughs> Our rape correspondent. <laughs> See why we need women on this podcast? This this, this is, is making me This shouldn't be a joke. I would uh, love to hear Rory's bars. I'd probably be all right. We'll save that for another day. I look at the time on the cable box. I mean, oh, no, sir. You little fuckies with the crossing guard that's mad hype to be a crossing guard. The parents in traffic suck my dick, kids. No way. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm staying home. <laughs> Sorry. Christ. Not sitting in that bullshit. Sorry, Trey. Savon, what, what is Tyrese doing? <laughs> that's some real that's some real lazy nigga shit to just toss to Savon for the corner three everybody like yeah I got these for Christmas you know shit I got these and I'm sitting there like uh. <laughs> by the end of this podcast I'm gonna think of the name of the religion I would think you would follow Scientology I'm gonna create one no no it's one that is not even heard of yet when I start my next podcast <laughs> I'm telling y'all I will tell y'all how the TV and our phone are going to kill us all they interviewed a robot, and the robot said verbatim out of its mouth, I am here to destroy humans. <laughs> <laughs> and they didn't unplug that? What would a perfect world be for Joe to come out of his fake-ass retirement besides inspiration? A rock chain. <laughs> See? Because as soon as I get my rock chain, you know I got to do something corny, like rap over one of those old Rockefeller beats. Like yeah. One nine hundred hustler or something, and shoot an IV, a IG vid, and from, a from the gold couch with the, with the stars above my head. If you put an egg, if you, if you put an egg on Joe's head with a bit of extra virgin Maul. olive oil, <laughs> Maul, uh, Maul definitely killed Slaughterhouse. So I don't know if I can reveal how and never. Why do you keep saying I killed Slaughter? That's crazy. I kind of want to know too. I had one corny moment my entire life, and nobody was there to see it. Wait, let's tell hear me. It. Let's hear it. Why would I tell you my one corny moment? In I wasn't life? there. I want to exactly. hear it. Exactly. No, nigga. And wait, you don't get to determine your corny moments. Yes, I do. I need a drop for every time Maul tries to be mysterious. I'm not going to get in every picture with French and Puff. Nah, he's going <laughs> he gonna, to he gonna make you your own Newport flavor, yeah, Ciroc. <laughs> Menthol, Ciroc. Menthol, Ciroc. For when you can't get a smoke and life's a joke. What? Every day should be a struggle. <laughs> Drink menthol, Ciroc. <laughs> Wait. <No. laughs> Every day shouldn't be a struggle. Yo, you should write Yo. jingles. I ain't gonna lie. Open you the birth control pill. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I said, women, woman Jesus is coming. <laughs> <laughs> women Jesus. You don't think woman Jesus is up there like... <laughs> 
and focus on that. <laughs> <laughs> too much, too much tapping. Zing. <laughs> <laughs> too much tapping <laughs> of grown white people are talking about black people and what they think black people will like and what's appropriate for how black people should be represented. Oh, it's it's like, literally insane. Sounds like complex. <laughs> 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 I ain't gonna lie, I'm on one today too, man. I gotta get a job. <laughs> we need to do like a list of the go to goat hood meals. Well, the you three. Said, you said. Think that sexual healing me. is that, that, that great of a His song about Marvin a woman? Gay. Do not yes. tell me. Yes, that. I do think that. I'm gonna continue to think that. <laughs> no way. Sexual healing is definitely about some boy tang. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I would start all, all work. I would start all my dude dates with hot in here. <laughs> I would let niggas know. know exactly what I'm on when, oh, I, yo, when I show up. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I would let niggas know what I'm on. It's like a spot I want to go. That nightclub will have major plumbing issues once I find out where it's at. <laughs> Speaking of plumbing, why is Joey Lawrence still fine? Excuse me? <laughs> What did you just say? <laughs> I'm confused too. You said what? Who, Joey Lawrence is what? It's still fine. Who is Joey Lawrence a guy? No. Oh, who's Joey Lawrence? Jennifer Lawrence. Who is Joey? Oh, Jennifer Lawrence. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm, so, I'm thinking Jennifer fan, Lawrence. Fan, 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 fan. I, was so <laughs> I have to go find Literally out who Jennifer free. Lawrence is now. It is snowing now in the New York area. It is supposed to snow next week in the New York area. And... That should be the last of the snow. Uh, what are you, a fucking weatherman? <laughs> <laughs> that should be the... Yo, who the fuck did you just turn Did you into? check the Doppler radar? <laughs> Yo, who are you? I say fabulous. I have an extensive vocabulary. Okay, my bad, bro. I don't think a man should ever use fabulous. <laughs> that is a word I think we've thrown away, thrown to the lions 50 years ago. I think we need a whole podcast on the things you think men shouldn't do. I think we do, too. I don't know. 154. No, it's not. We just did one. It's 155. 155. Episode 150. Look at you trying to be right and you're wrong. <laughs> episode 155 of the Joe Budden Podcast. Thanks, Savon. What episode number is it this week? 155 now. Correct. So I was a week ahead of things like I normally am. Concept of the record Yo, wasn't bad. I'm going to start my writing my tombstone when I get home. So, I mean, matter of fact, take a selfie with somebody who's wealthy. How about Pause. No one has ever asked Hellrell for a selfie. You don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what's wrong with you, man? Yeah, that nigga Maul has been supporting Nikki for a long time. We're going to get into some more of the relationships you support later on, too. <laughs> One day on my other podcast that I am not going to start, we're going to talk about the fucking em emasculation of men and how we just oh, can't God. even be vulnerable. I'm just, I'm we just can't saying, even I didn't, be vulnerable. We I just have to be tough. Oh, Maul, to. Maul, why don't you just write? Write the book on all the cool things am, that man. we should say. It's only going to be about three pages. Mo, you should start the no, athlete shade no, room. No, no, I have no. I, no. <laughs> what well, we call it? Mauler alert. Shade room. That's what it was. He was Mauler alert, <laughs> not Mauler alert. Really. <laughs> Everyone, calm down. Calm down. One day we got to sit down and make a list of all the quote unquote dope R and B songs that didn't age that well. And one day we're going to start to have that conversation up here because it's quite a few rappers that you can just tell. No longer enjoy rapping. Yeah, Joel, Joel said niggas asking him about the pull-up. You know what I mean? He said he might have to pull up on niggas. Okay. That would also be a great pull-up, for sure. That would be interesting. It would be good. I think, because I think, a, I think a, a complete slaughterhouse pull-up would be crazy. One day, one day I'm going to make a list of all the women that just fucked up some great men, man. Brittany ruined Justin. One day we got to have a conversation about... Uh, just a consumer's meter between when an artist is good versus if they're actually cool. You know, how those two, how those two interchange. I do think that it's time for Parks to get a drop in there. I do. One day, well, one day I'm going to hire a researcher and we're just going to go over just some of the things that were just done to death in hip hop. <laughs> I was the last on the ding dong train too. <laughs> You know, and we should start a, a segment where we just correct errors. Like, 2019, I'm digging into my true crime bag. You can't, you I'm, can't, it's impossible. I'm, like, I'm going to merge hip hop and true crime and thinking about how hip hop targets young people and why. Uh, I won't get into it right this second. <laughs> 
That probably means I'll never get into it. We've seen too many fruit food trucks already. Like, we gotta hit these niggas with like a food suburban. So one day we should have a scrambled egg contest. Because one day we should do a podcast about the people that we just know and where oh, they okay. and where they are. One I day, do, but one day <laughs> we should have a group chat etiquette conversation because there is group chat etiquette. Absolutely. One day we gotta have a talk about some of the artist rules at these shows. A guilty pleasure of mine, and I almost thought about making it a segment on this podcast. Sometimes I go to the real fine girls Instagram, you know, like the fine girls who post real stupid pictures with real idiotic captions, and I just those are, those read. Those my favorite. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's the best. <laughs> yeah, I can lose like three hours with yeah. them. One day on this podcast, I would like to talk to you all about purchasing houses because I feel like a lot of our audience is probably venturing into that same thing. I have my own conspiracy theories about Terry Crews. And they're only to be topped by Rory's conspiracy theory that we'll never talk about here. In 2020, we're going to have a phone text conversation. I would love, I should, I would love to interview Raekwon after all these years. That would be a, that would be a great pull-up, like jokes yeah. aside. Or yeah. fight. So a lot of stupid people on the internet misinterpreting whatever it is that I was screaming about because I was screaming. I got to stop doing that. One day we got to talk <laughs> about park. some, some, some weed, of the weed dealers out here and, and just... They're connect. I miss you. Like weed. how they getting it? It's the, just bad. The, the new weed gets me too high. You dance now. You you kind of look. Nah, at someone get light in like the circle. You could like make think, a circle. Yeah, that, I think you look uh, stupid. That was always on my bucket list, but I never could do it <laughs> to get light circle. Now I can never get people to form a circle around me. <laughs> <laughs> I could be a motivational scammer. We need a doc on the personal lives of all the wild and out girls. Yeah, we one hundred percent. I'm with that. One day we are gonna have a conversation about the old hoes. Whenever it's safe out there. <laughs> Whenever the dust settles We gonna talk about some old old Listen I was in the crib yesterday Debating for an hour If uh, serious or should be a word I just thought of an idea of a show Just that fast I would pay to just film Maul Getting MRI MRIs What? <laughs> Alright this shit is off the rail <laughs> What? Nobody would watch that One Y'all day I would like to have a podcast About all of the almost beefs That happened between rappers That were friends That it just never worked out Because they were friends <laughs> No, I'm <laughs> What's that shit the kids be doing? So bad at <laughs> what, what I don't know, know what that was. All right, all right, all right, all right, right relax. When did I, mean, I need to go back and figure out the? I'm, I need to see the origin of airports. I think every rapper has those certain bars where you just like, absolutely right, every like, single rapper on earth. Like, fam, it's like, right, like I, I where it. was you going? Yeah, oh, yeah. come on. We, one day we got to we got to do a list of those. We rappers. have to. Oh yeah, yeah. one thousand percent. Right. Right. But just try to shit over to what your niggas talking about. <laughs> you took over the show last week. <laughs> now he like, well, you know, one day when he's ready, Yo, which one is it? When Maul is ready to take. Take the show to the next level. He gonna talk about him and, and, and some of these some of these uh, porn, porn stars that he knows so well. I hate logic. That's <laughs> the I do. Why? Just looking at him. Oh, well, I, I took a flight recently. All they had was tuna fish in a can with crackers and mustard. What? What the <laughs> fuck <laughs> fucking flight was, was you on? The fuck was you mad. going to prison, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> this nigga was on flight was fugitive. Disg- <laughs> Dudes don't want to see me in a tuna fish battle. I'm telling you, we need that app. We need the app that when we meet somebody, we're instantly allowed to ask their ex at least three questions. One, one day we're going to talk about, uh, yo, we need reparations for all the money that you new rappers are getting. <laughs> you new rappers are making a shit ton of money off of everything but music. We need a list of the best rappers that make you want to rob somebody. Everyone home tried to tell us the 76 floors was a doc, but the doc played for the 76ers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One day we're going to have a talk about all the times that Hove tried to confuse us. They did kind of follow on the same path of being kids, except for the group, and then hung out with black people. And then we're like, just kidding. I don't want to do that, guys. And then did the white thing. Yeah. All right. Maybe hey, you have a point. <laughs> we need a long list of the white people that did that. <laughs> Most of them. Hey, hey, one day as an experiment. No, not one day. Next, in 2021. I'm going to just wear everything J. Cole wore this year. You know, Joe is too scared to go anywhere. But I'm dying to fight somebody. That's where hip-hop went wrong. <laughs> no, well, That's yes. where it went wrong at. I, I, I can't say because where it went we, wrong. More, you have to finish writing your 16. You didn't play too much? Take this podcast no, but if you, to you didn't play level. too much, I will let you. But you played. Yeah, if you called Tyrese, that would take us to the next like, level. Mm, call her. <laughs> <laughs> no, but y'all yeah. don't think that would be good content? If I just pick a name on your phone and dial it, and, and no. I talk, one day we're going to get our edge back. <laughs> one day we're going to have like a, we, a critical breakdown. One day we're going to hate some shit. One, one day we're going to uh, tell no, artists. We definitely we're going to tell home. artists what they need to be doing. All the things that got this podcast to like the top. We, we still do. Our defense, All the things Friday that got us music. straight to the top, man. The one Friday day was... we'll get back to, I swear. Hey, hey, we need a podcast on 
how many of you rappers is sitting by the mailbox waiting for your sound exchange? <laughs> <laughs> That's mean. That's hating. But one day I'm going to give a PowerPoint presentation on just why you should not do things out of desperation. I want to see the list of the brokest rappers. <laughs> <laughs> I think that list would be more entertaining. One day we're going to have that talk about the videos that made you get a little lusty, but whatever. Yeah. G-Thing is on there for me. One day when y'all ready to take this pod to the next level, we can come here and talk about all the fans that you guys have fucked over the years. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I got a whole Absolutely. list of terrible rappers. Most of these yeah. niggas is terrible. I believe. No, listen, I'm with you on that. I don't think logic is on that list. I don't think he's but. terrible. He's the corniest rapper. I can, Absolutely. Well, one day y'all can come in here and tell me about who y'all think is terrible. On another podcast, I'll tell you about some of your favorite rappers that have the most trash weed in the universe. That should be Maul's new nickname, Gritty and Grits. Is in 2020, <laughs> I will get through an entire year without discussing Kanye West. <laughs> Yo, I got. Hey, one day. Hey, hey wait, yeah, stop. I'm yeah, telling y'all right yeah, now. I'm telling Rory, Parks, and Maul. I haven't known y'all long enough, so y'all escaped the raft this time. Our five year anniversary in February. I'm coming in just talking about a whole bunch of shit that I shouldn't talk about. <laughs> All right. Nope, let's okay. do it. Yeah, I'm like coming in here and just really talking about how we've managed for five years. Yes, I like that type <laughs> of shit. I'm getting right to it. One day. One day. Recording. Oh, he retired, nah, he just not inspired uh, Someone light the fire Mic check, one, two, one, two, mic check, one, two, one, two Hey, y'all under the frock Hey, y'all under the frock Hey, y'all under the frock In case you gotta air out the block Woo, <laughs> Joe, I got balls for you Phone when dad had daddy call me. Mm. Dad had, yeah, if dad, if a nigga named dad had daddy call me, I'm definitely <laughs> That's not, not what you have saved. No, <laughs> that doesn't pop up dad on your phone. Had daddy, <laughs> who you gave say? you that name? Him, Him. Oh, okay. Mark Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> Hand down, man down. Dad hat, dad's back. 